Truth and justice have been for decades the main objective of the Argentine Anthropology Forensic Team. That's why they continue to work to shed light on what happened to the thousands of people who were disappeared during Argentina's dirty war over 40 years ago. We take samples from the relatives and create forms with information from the donor and the relative who disappeared. Then we compare it with the bone samples we have. The team was created in 1986, when Argentina embarked on a process of exhumations of the many unmarked graves found in the country, believing that many of them could well contain unidentified victims of forced disappearances. The Argentine Anthropology Forensic Team believes that with their work they can help the relatives find justice but also some type of closure. They're currently working to identify the remains in these boxes. There's 600 remains that allegedly belong to people who went missing during the dictatorship in Argentina in the 1970s and 80s. Their expertise has taken them to 55 countries, including South Africa, Syria, Iraq, Colombia and Mexico where they attempt to help relatives find the remains of their loved ones. They use genetic profiles, drones, infrared cameras to locate mass graves in the most remote locations. But Luis de Fondebrider says that's not the most important part of their investigations. The main change we introduced uh, was to incorporate the family members in our work. Usually the medical forensic system just take some information for the families and, and somehow at some point they'll provide a report back. Well, so we, we do it in another way. We have the families the center of our activity. They are present during the exhumations. They are informed about what we are doing. In many cases, families don't trust in the states. They come to us because they don't trust in the state. They want another option. That's why they played a crucial role in the investigation into the disappearance of the 43 students in Ayotzinapa, Mexico, who were killed by a drug cartel with the complicity of the country's security forces. The relatives wanted the team involved in the search and not Mexican authorities. In Argentina, there are many who are still trying to locate their relatives. Silvia Marina Crespo's father disappeared in 1975. He was a left-wing activist. I've always tried to find him and I know his remains are somewhere. We have very little information on what happened to him, but I want to find what is left of him. And that's why this anthropology team is crucial for victims of conflict and violence, because they locate the victims and help hold accountable those involved in serious human rights abuses around the world. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.